from the first section of this video I completely failed at making like my sugar wax I've done I think I've done five batches today five I've wasted a whole bag of sugar and this is why I say I'm not a professional I just do these videos to share it with you guys because these guys seem to like it and yeah so why not do them so I finally managed to do it so this is my favorite this one's just perfect it's like it's still got this runny slime to it but it's the best at taking all the hair out this is the kind of consistency I used on my sister's sugar waxing video which I will link in the info box if you guys want to watch that I will show you a clip of how I made the wax and then I'll tell you in the video when to stop making it because I went to like I did hard wax, I don't really like hard wax because it just doesn't stick to me, I don't know if I'm cooking it too much when I do it liquidy like that I just and use strips with it, it just works the best so I will show you guys that and tell you when to stop cooking it so you're going to need a regular cup of sugar and lemon and with my, I've already got my cup of sugar and I squeeze 4 tablespoons of lemon into the sugar and then I basically spoon it in four tablespoons of water as well and then I just put it all in the pan don't even know if you call it a pan or saucepan right here I'm just putting in the water as you can see I'm using the same tablespoon and then I put the heat on like medium heat and you'll see it will start to bubble up and then it starts getting foamy but it's still liquidy this is like the liquidy foamy stage and then this bit is where it gets kind of like sticky foamy and this is like the perfect consistency like this is where i would stop it what i wouldn't recommend is basically i walked away and did my hair and like i was literally just by the kitchen but it just i'm speeding this up but it burnt this is where i would kind of stop it for like hard wax but then if you go like well over this this is just burning it basically it's going too brown and this was just very hard wax so that's a big no-no the one on the left it was the absolute fail one it's just hard rock candy and the one on the right is the one i used in the beginning when i was having trouble but they're both not that great but the one on the right could be your hard wax okay so i hope that bit was helpful for you guys in terms of making the sugar wax i mean i struggle at it sometimes it's still a learning process for me like every time it's different i don't really measure basically you need one cup size of sugar and then four tablespoons of water and four tablespoons of lemon and literally that's how i make it and that's how i do it all the time it's just that the thing is like is it how long you keep it cooking that's the tricky part but it's basically you just want it to be a tad bit golden if you want it like this consistency if you want hard wax then you can make it go like a golden caramelly color but that doesn't really seem to stick to me and i find it very hard to put it on me also i do like sugar waxing because it's cheaper it's i can just make it at home i don't need to buy really expensive waxing products that don't really last that long um and it's also very like natural and it takes all the hairs out it doesn't burn after it doesn't give me like spots or brushes or anything with sugar waxing you do go against the hair growth and then pull in the direction of the hair growth so it's different to normal waxing i did a lot of research on sugar waxing in terms of why it's good and like stuff like that it prevents ingrown hairs um and it's just soft in the skin and it's very efficient cheap it's just really good to be honest so anyways let's jump straight into waxing my skin shall we so i don't know if you guys can see my arms are super hairy as hell like it was definitely time for me to wax them the um spatulas the wooden spatulas are from amazon i'm really happy with this consistency that i managed to get after five batches by the way guys and these cloth strips that i got are from they're from amazon as well they're super cheap so literally just press down and literally just pull off I don't know if you guys can see but it's taking it off can you guys see the hair I hope you can see the hair ew I do like to fold them and then use this bit as well my arm's super smooth that's the hair guys this is so exciting i love doing these hair removal videos it's just so satisfying but there's my arm just takes everything off 
I'm so excited to have smooth arms again. I get really hairy hands, by the way, so I'm going to do my hand. I realise as well with sugar waxing, it doesn't pull on the skin as much. I'm just going to do this tiny section here. I don't really like to go over my tattoo. My hair's going weird direction, so I'm just basically following the opposite direction the hair's going in. Push it in the direction it's growing and then boom damn look and it's just super smooth hairy on this my upper arm as well so I just prefer it when it's this consistently because every single hair comes off and by the way you can wash the cloths if you want it just comes right off you can just reuse them also sometimes I forget the direction this is just my error like you need to go and pull the wax off in the direction of the hair and sometimes I just do it the wrong way because I just forget okay I need to go do the back of my arm I think that's it on my arm look at that I want to do a comparison also it's just really quick as well that's just a comparison like my skin's a bit dry but not like overly dry but it feels so soft this just feels this feels soft as well but it's just it's just hairy can you see the difference, guys? Okay, so that's really how I wax. Dang. I love it. I love doing this stuff. Like, I won't really buy any more wax strips outside. I just do my own sugar wax, honestly. Um, and please remember, I'm not a professional. I'm not a perfectionist. And I'm not perfect. I don't... 100% know what I'm doing most of the time, so I just do a lot of research, see what um, um, people who are professional at this recommend and I just go from there really. There's so much on the internet, you can follow my method and I will link some websites that give um, more precise um, measurements, just in case you guys want to know that. If you want to see more sugar waxing videos or hair removal videos using weird gadgets, let me know. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!